Hey everybody, my name is Ryan and here at eTrailer we install, test fit, and review a lot of different parts. That way we could try to help answer any questions those of you might have. And that's exactly what we're doing here today on our 2021 Subaru Crosstrek. We're going to be taking a look at and showing you how to install the draw tight max frame trailer hitch receiver. So I know I see these Subarus getting used to do a little bit of everything, whether they're carrying around a cargo carrier or a bike rack, or even pulling a trailer down the road. So if it were me, I would want a hitch that would be able to handle pretty much anything you want to throw at it. And this draw tight is going to do just that. So this hitch is going to be completely visible for the most part. You're going to be able to see the whole thing, but it does sit up nice and tight against the bottom. So it looks pretty good. There are uh, completely hidden hitches available that really the only thing you'll see is the receiver tube opening here. But honestly, I think these Subarus really take accessories well. So at the end of the day, it's just gonna be your preference. If you want something that's less visible, there's an option for you. If you like to see the hitch, there's many options available as well. So since this is a class three hitch, it's gonna give us that two inch by two inch receiver tube opening. This is a super common size and a ton of different accessories will work with it. It's going to have a reinforced collar for extra strength and it's going to have that standard 5 8 pin hole. Now keep in mind, a pin and clip does not come included with the hitch, but if you need one, you can pick it up here at eTrailer. I am a big fan of these safety chain openings. They're really large and easy to get to. So really shouldn't have any issues using pretty much any size hook that we might have. I do want to point out too, you probably notice the smaller hole here in front of our pin hole, and that's there to allow us to use a J pin, which is this here. And this is a stabilization device. So when you use this, it's going to eliminate any slop or play here in the connection point and really help keep things quiet back here. Your accessory won't be moving around in our connection point. And if you want to use a J pen, you can also grab that here at each trailer. So this hitch is going to give us some pretty impressive weight capacities. As far as the maximum gross tongue weight rating goes, that's going to be 675 pounds. And that's going to be the amount of weight that's pushing down on the hitch. So like I said, it's a pretty high number and you should be able to use pretty much any size bike rack or, or cargo carrier that you would want to, for example. As far as the maximum gross trailer weight rating goes, it's going to be 4,500 pounds, and that's going to be the amount of weight that's pulling on the hitch. So that is the weight of your trailer, plus anything that you might have on it. Now, I do always suggest, never a bad idea, just to grab your Subaru's owner's manual. That way you can make sure your Crosstrek can pull that much weight safely. And if you do plan on doing some towing, what's really nice is they actually give you a bracket here. That way, when you pick up your trailer wiring, you're going to have a perfect spot to mount it. From the ground to the top inside edge of the receiver tube opening, that's going to be about 15 and a half inches. So if you do plan on doing some towing, chances are pretty good. You're going to need to get a ball mount with a straight shank. You can see the edge of the receiver tube opening is going to come out past our bumper just a little bit. So that's going to provide us with great clearance and we shouldn't have to really worry at all about any of those folding type accessories making contact with the back of our Subaru. So at the end of the day, a hitch that can honestly kind of do it all. It's one you really couldn't go wrong with. Now, as far as the installation goes, uh, really not too bad, nothing too crazy involved. And I'll show you a couple tips and tricks along the way to make that install go a little bit smoother. So it really shouldn't give you a whole lot of issues. Speaking of which, let's go ahead and put it on together now. To begin our installation, we're going to be here underneath the back of our Subaru and what we're going to need to do is lower our exhaust on a little bit. That way we have some room to work. However, before we do that, I suggest taking a strap and just running it from side to side. That way the exhaust will have a little bit of support and we can kind of control how fast and how far we let the exhaust down. So we're going to need to remove three rubber isolator hangers. So we're gonna have two over here on the driver's side and one just like it on the passenger side. Uh, what I did was just spray these down with some soapy water where you can use penetrating oil uh, as well. That just helps them glide off a little bit easier. But we'll take a pry bar and just work one side 
of that hanger off of the exhaust. And then if you follow the exhaust forward, it's going to be one more hanger right here. So we'll go ahead and get that one off as well. Once we have all of them removed, what you can do is loosen up that strap and lower the exhaust on some. Now what we can do is come over here to the bottom of our frame rail and remove these rubber plugs. And that's because we're going to use these as an attachment point as well as an access hole. So we'll just take a flathead screwdriver. We're just going to pop those out. And I do want to mention from this point on, anything we do to this side of our vehicle, we're also going to do to the other side because it'll be set up the exact same way. Now we can go ahead, get our hardware in place inside of the frame rail. And we're going to do that using the pull wire here. We're going to feed the coil in through this hole here and try to get it to come out of this opening. What I suggest doing is just kind of eyeballing it and putting a bend in it like that. Usually makes it easier. And so we'll kind of work that. You may have to kind of reach in there and help kind of guide that out. Once we have it out, what you're gonna do is take a spacer block, put it over, coil into the pull wire, thread the carriage bolt on, and you're able to feed that hardware up through there until it drops down like so. So to get our hardware into this hole, we're gonna use the reverse fish wire. So you take the coil end of the fish wire, put on another spacer block and thread on your carriage bolt. And then you're simply just gonna push a carriage bolt in first, followed by that spacer block, and then pull it down like so. So now what we're gonna do, if you take your hitch and the holes here that are facing towards the front of our vehicle on each side of the hitch, you're going to take the included spacer block and just tape it. I use some packing tape. Tape it to where the hole lines up with the attachment point and the hitch. So once you have that taped up, you know you want to cut out that opening so a bolt can pass through there. And I found this much easier as opposed to uh, trying to hold the hitch up and line everything up. It's a lot easier with these taped in place. So it's kind of one less thing you have to worry about moving around and getting lined up on you. Now with an extra set of hands, what we can do is raise the hitch into position. You want to make sure to grab your pull wires and feed them through the corresponding holes in the hitch. And we can lift it up and over our exhaust. Once we have everything lined up, we can remove the pull wire. And we're going to take a conical tooth washer Make sure that the teeth on the washer are gonna face up towards the hitch. Put that on. And then you're gonna take a hex nut and you wanna to try to get at least one, get one started on each side. Hand tight, that way the hitch will support itself while we work on the rest of the hardware. Now that we have our hardware in place and hand tight, we can come back with a 11 16 socket and snug it all down. Now at this point, we can come back with a torque wrench and tighten down all of the hardware to the amount specified in our instructions. So now that we have the hitch torqued down, we can rehang our exhaust. So I went ahead and sprayed everything with some lubricant again. This time I'm just gonna do everything by hand. Just gonna line up the hangers. I'm just gonna push them right back into place there. 
Now that the exhaust is supporting itself, we can go ahead and remove our strut. And that'll finish up our look at and our installation of the draw tight max frame trailer hitch receiver on our 2021 Subaru Crosstrek.